Hi there, it's Tyler from Nelly Security and welcome to our mini Vandal Dome IP security camera shootout. Mini domes are great options if you're looking for a compact, inconspicuous security camera to add to your surveillance system. These cameras may be tiny, but they have a lot packed into their compact housings. And today we're going to take a look at two of our mini Vandal Domes, the H-Series Mini Dome and the Uniview Mini Dome. We're going to put these two cameras head to head so you can see which model is right for you. These cameras, for the most part, are very similar. Both are compact. Both shoot video at 4 megapixel. Both are very durable. But there are a few key differences, and we're going to explore those differences today in terms of design and function. If you're short on time, here it is in a nutshell. The biggest difference between these two cameras is our H-Series Mini Dome is a Wi-Fi security camera, whereas our Uniview Mini Dome can only be hardwired with an Ethernet connection, just like a typical IP security camera. If you're not interested in a Wi-Fi camera, the Uniview Mini Dome does have better specs overall, but the H-Series does have slightly better video. At the end of the day, both of these mini domes are fantastic and you can't go wrong with either model. All right, with that, let's go ahead and jump into a quick unboxing. All right, I have both boxes here. This is our H-Series mini dome and our Uniview mini dome. You can see the Uniview box is a little bit bigger but you didn't watch this video to compare packaging, so let's go ahead and take a quick look inside. So here is our H-Series mini dome, uh, and it does come with more pieces inside the box. We have our software, CD, our quick start guide, and here we have our mounting plate. So the H-Series dome actually comes in two pieces, uh, the camera itself and this mounting plate. And here we have all of our mounting hardware. Uh, we also have fixing screws, which we use to uh, install the camera into the mounting plate. We have our hex key in there and also a handy lens cloth. And we have our weatherproof grommet here. And here is the camera. So let's set this aside and go ahead and open up our Uniview camera. This one is a little bit more simplified. We have all of our paperwork, our mounting hardware, and our weatherproof grommet inside this little baggie. And here we have the camera. So now that we have both of these cameras out of the box, let's go ahead and put them to the test. All right, our first test is going to be design. So if you're looking for a mini dome, it's probably because you're wanting a compact camera. So we will start with the camera's sizes, which honestly aren't that much different as you can see here. They both have the exact same diameter, 110 millimeters. The H series dome itself is a lot smaller than the Uniview's dome, but when it comes to overall body size, they are pretty much exactly the same. Now, if you look at the heights of the camera, the Uniview camera is a little bit taller than the H-Series camera, but again, that's primarily because when it comes to Uniview, this is only one piece. You installed this whole thing up on the ceiling, whereas with H-Series, this does come with the camera as well as the separate mounting plate. Speaking of that mounting plate, let's talk about the installation design. Again, Uniview is one piece, so you pretty much install this directly in the installation site. And it does have these three screws here for fixing it into place. The H-Series camera does have this separate mounting plate again. And you can see, instead of just three fixed holes, it does have these four slots. Uh, this just gives you a little bit more flexibility when it comes to installation. You're not limited to uh, four fixed places. So for that reason alone, I kind of prefer the H-Series Mini Dome's design. But again, it's totally up to personal preference. This one's a lot easier because as soon as you install it, you're done. This one, you do have a couple of extra steps. Now let me open up these domes and we will talk about the design of the cameras themselves. All right, I have the domes off of our cameras here and we can check these out. The first thing you'll notice is with the Uniview, the dome is actually attached to the camera with this security cable, whereas with the H-Series, the dome is completely separate. 
that's kind of a nice feature of the Uniview camera, just because, you know, if you're clumsy like I am, you have less of a chance of dropping this during installation uh, since it is attached to that camera's body. Now, both lenses have triple adjustment capabilities. Uh, with the H series, you actually need a screwdriver here to loosen this tension screw. And once that screw is loose, you can adjust it up and down, left and right, and you can adjust the tilt of the lens as well. Then once you get the lens right where you like it, you can tighten down this screw and that will prevent the lens from moving around. With Uniview, however, there is no tension screw. Uh, you just grab the lens and move it to wherever you want it to go. It's nice, smooth, and fluid. Um, both the H series and the Uniview have angle markers on the lens, but the Uniview also has angle markers here when you turn the lens to the left or to the right. Honestly, I prefer Uniview's angle adjustment because it's just so easy to turn, but it's not so easy that it's gonna slide around. Now both cameras do have a built-in microphone here on the H series. The microphone is actually located here at the bottom of the camera and you can actually access it uh, here at this little compartment if you have a tiny Phillips head screwdriver, uh, but you don't really need to. There is a tiny pinhole here on the side of the camera's base and that is where the sound enters into the microphone. For our Uniview camera here, the microphone is actually integrated into the dome. Uh, and that's another reason why the dome is attached to the camera. And when the dome is on, you can see this little hole right here. So on the Uniview camera, the microphone is a little bit closer to the subject. As such, we can expect the uh, audio on the Uniview camera to be a little bit clearer than the audio here on the H-Series camera, but that is something that we're going to test later on in this video. Both cameras do support a micro SD card. Here is the slot on the Uniview camera, and here is the micro SD card slot on the H-Series camera. Now the H-Series can only have up to 128 gigabytes of onboard storage, whereas the Uniview camera can support up to 256 gigabytes. Now, another interesting thing here to point out is the infrared technology. You can see here on the Uniview model, the IR LED is right here above the lens. So it is going to be coming out of the same window as the camera lens itself. Technically speaking, the Uniview camera actually has a more powerful IR LED the IR range of the Uniview goes up to 50 feet, whereas the IR range of the 8 series model only goes up to 30 feet. However, notice the placement of the IR LEDs here on the 8 series model. It's off to the side. And if you look at the dome here, the IR LEDs actually each have their own little window. So it's not located under the same glass as the camera lens. This is called EXIR or extended infrared technology and the difference here is when the IR LED does come out of the same lens as the camera it can actually cause quite a bit of reflection underneath that dome and uh, what's called IR glare. Having the IR lenses housed separately from the camera lens just produces a much cleaner night image. So on paper the Uniview camera does have more powerful IR technology. However, the design of the camera and the design of the IR LEDs uh, is a little bit better here on the H series just because it is EXIR and it is separated from that main camera lens. All right, let's move on to cable connections. You can see that both cameras obviously have the Cat 5E ethernet connection as well as this 12 volt DC power supply connection. Uh, the H-Series model actually comes with a plug in the DC connection, which is nice, seeing as how you may or may not be using that connection. And both do have a, a couple of additional connections. Let's take a look here at the H-Series model. This has alarm in and out connections as well as audio in and out connections. Uh, so that way, if you don't like the microphone here on the H-Series model, you aren't limited to that. You can wire your own external microphone here. Uh, you can also wire speakers to this so you can have two-way audio or an alarm. The nice thing about the H-Series model is it does come with these terminals so you just tighten the screws and you don't have to worry about those wires coming loose. The Uniview model, uh, it does have alarm. 
I'm sorry, it does have audio in and out connections. So you can wire a separate external microphone as well as speakers. It does not have alarm in and out. And obviously you can see that it doesn't have those terminals. So you're just gonna have to wire these by twisting the wires together and uh, holding them together with electrical tape or something like that. So it's a little bit less secure, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. And that brings us to the end of the first part of this video. We have taken a look at the design of these two cameras. There are a few minor differences, a few pros and cons to each, but ultimately they're both pretty fantastic cameras. Now that we have compared and contrasted the design of these two cameras, it's time to get these installed and check out the differences when it comes to performance and overall features. Now both cameras are pretty easy to install. The H series camera takes a bit longer just because you do have that extra mounting plate. But again, that mounting plate allows more flexibility when installing your camera. The H series camera also offers connectivity flexibility since it does have Wi-Fi capabilities. The Uniview model does not have Wi-Fi, so you are limited to a hardwired connection there. But in the end, a hardwired connection is going to be more reliable than a Wi-Fi connection. We do typically recommend hardwiring your cameras, but if you just need a Wi-Fi camera, you know, these definitely do have their place then the H-Series camera does have that option available for you. Now that we have both of these cameras installed and ready to go, let's take a look at the video. Both cameras are four megapixel and they both shoot either 2592 by 1520 pixels or the standard 2560 by 1440 pixels. The difference, however, is in frame rate. The H-Series Mini Dome shoots in its highest resolution, 2592 by 1520, at 30 frames per second so it is going to be nice and smooth. The Uniview Dome, on the other hand, shoots its highest resolution, which is also 2592 by 1520, at only 20 frames per second. So it's going to be quite a bit choppier than the H-Series camera. However, with the Uniview, if you bring the resolution down to the standard 2560 by 1440, then this dome does shoot at 25 frames per second. That's going to look considerably better. It's still not that 30 frames per second, but the difference is gonna be pretty small. All right, now let's look at a couple of nighttime images. Like we mentioned in the previous section, the Uniview camera does technically have better IR range. It has about a 50 foot IR range compared to the H series mini dome, which has about a 30 foot IR range. But already we can tell that there is a little bit of IR glare. If you see that right there in the center of the screen. Again, that's because the IR LED is housed under the same glass dome as the camera lens. If we look at the H series model, we do not have that IR glare at all because of this EX IR design. However, that IR glare on the Uniview camera is easily fixed. Here is a night shot when I moved the lens just a little bit to the left. You can see that that cleared up the issues we were having and there is no IR glare here. So at the end of the day, it's really just going to depend on the position of your camera. When it comes to vandal resistance, the Uniview camera is fully IK10 vandal proof, whereas the H series model is only IK8 vandal proof. It's still tough and durable. Someone's still not going to be able to bust this thing open. It's just slightly less vandal resistant than the Uniview model. Now let's take a look at some of these features. Again, both cameras have built-in mics, so let's take a quick listen. All right, testing, testing. I am testing the built-in microphone on the H-Series Mini Vandal Dome, the NSC254GWS. And now I'm testing the built-in microphone on the Uniview Mini Vandal Dome. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So yeah, I think Uniview's is a bit clearer than the H-Series model. But again, you do have the ability to wire your own mic if you're not happy with the performance of either of these cameras. And now let's take a look at some of the recording events that we have. On the H series, we have, you know, our basic motion detection. We also have a couple of smart events. We have face detection, intrusion detection, and line crossing detection. And that's really all we have here with the H series dome. If we look at the Uniview mini dome, we do have the full array of Uniview smart events. We have region, entrance, and exit. We have line crossing and intrusion detection, just like the H-Series camera. We also have all of these exception and statistic scenes. We have face detection. We have people counting. 
So the Uniview Dome does offer a bit more in terms of features, but that's to be expected since this is Uniview. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this video up. So which of these two cameras is better? Well, there really isn't a correct answer to that question. Both cameras are great and it's totally going to depend on your personal preferences and your situation. If you're looking for a Wi-Fi camera, obviously the H-Series Mini Dome is for you. If you're looking for something a little bit more powerful, something that has a couple of extra features, then you may want to look into the Uniview Mini Dome. So which of these two models do you prefer? Go ahead and let us know in the comments below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us across social media so you never miss another security video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.